Welcome back to Kirby's Dream Collection. We're moving on to the next title in these classic titles that we've yes. titled up classically, which is Kirby's Adventure Ooh. for the NES. Came out in uh, 1993, I believe. Just, just at the uh, just the end of the NES's uh, lifespan there. So. Oh, really? Yep, and they brought the NES to as much... They, they, they used the NES as much as they could. They, they brought it to its full potential, I think, here. So we come so, here as a fun little game called Kirby's Adventure! Yeah! So did this come along at, like, when the SNES was out, or was it literally, like, uh, this and then the SNES? Oh, yeah, the this has been out for, like, two years after the, after the SNES. Oh, that's awesome. Uh-huh. So, level one is Vegetable Valley, and this is different from Kirby's Dreamland because now we've added something. The ability to actually inhale our enemies and take their yeah! powers! All right! Finally! It's here! So let's have a beam power. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's lose our beam power! All right, let's get another beam power! All right, here we go. You were giving an example of what happens when you get hit with a power. <laughs> you just lose it entirely. <laughs> All right, so in terms of story, uh, I, I'm not going to show it here, but... Uh, all the inhabitants of Dreamland stopped dreaming. The Fountain of Dreams used to give them their dreams, but now it's not flowing anymore because King Dedede, uh, who is the world... We've already fought King Dedede before. <laughs> he, yeah. he He's stealing for himself. All right, now it's time for a secret. Oh, really? Oh, down the waterfall. Oh. Just in that spot? And here's UFO power. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. This is the uh, most powerful Ooh. power in the game. Oh, cool. It's so powerful you can't even keep it past the stage that you that you beat. Oh. Yeah. It's and really powerful. And like, actually, it, solve, uh, it solves most of the puzzles in this game, or I, most of the dilemmas that you're faced with. I noticed uh, after you left that secret, ah! you can actually see the door. My God, you were getting thrown around, man. Yeah, Kirby doesn't fuck around a whole lot. <laughs> Especially if Is you're uh, it? doing it semi-carelessly, semi-speedrunning like I am. <laughs> Such a game for babies, and yet you're getting your shit wrecked. Oh, no. Anyone who says that this game is for babies, or that Kirby is for babies, hasn't played a Kirby game ever, apparently. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, no, they, they just hear the fact that you can't die and then go nuts. Ooh. This is our main... Well, you can't die in Epic Yarn. You can totally die in another Kirby game, so... So here we are with the crane game. It's just a, well, a, a simple crane game. That little one over there on the right is worth one one-up, but this big one here I'm going for is worth mm. two. Two oh. extra oh. lives. Oh. Come here. Come here. Oh. Come on. Come on. And there we hey. go. All right. Nice. Another one, and oh, let's see if we can grab this one too. Now, does it actually go by crane game logic where it's bullshit? No, it's not bullshit, but uh, you need to be kind of as center as you can in order to really see you, 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 you grab them. But it's not wow. like sometimes it grabs them, sometimes it doesn't. No, mm -hmm. no, it's, it's, it's not rigged like real crane games, obviously. So that's four up, right off the bat. Wow. Yeah, maybe this game is for babies, who knows. <laughs> All right, uh, level two. This one's pretty straightforward, too. Now, you can't get those, uh, what, what are those spike guys again? Gordos. Yeah, th those can't be used as powers, right? You can't kill Gordos, you can't kill Shotsos. They cannot be killed. Hmm. Go to this warp star and head further into the level. <laughs> just imagine, you get a Gordo and all of a sudden you're just invincible. <laughs> Kirby can't be killed. Well, I, I don't know if it's that he can't suck them in or just decides not to. Like, Kirby's already eaten one in his past, and he's like, fuck, I'm not doing that again. So now we're facing Poppy Brothers Sr. Oh. Wow, he's got a jump on him. Yeah, sometimes his uh, placement gets a little messed up, though, but it's alright. So, he gives us the crash ability. It's a one-time use to destroy everything on the screen. Oh, really? Let me show you how it works. I was wondering what that sound was. I was like, oh yeah, the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's just called Crash, but I think Apocalypse is, uh... De uh that's definitely some E10 worthy stuff there. Uh, yes, exactly, E10. Like, the world has ended. It's like, oh yeah, we'll put an E10 rating on that. It's Kirby. Alright, here's Spark Power. Ooh. Spark's one of now, my personal favorites. Not because of what it is right now, but what it will become. It's a combination of Spark and another one of my... Probably my absolute favorite uh, basic power in all of Kirby, though. 
but we'll get there in like three games or so. So is this uh does this game have bomb power? No, it does not. Okay, so that came come later. Yes, it does come later. This this uh this has no bomb and uh, several other things that they're missing too. Because uh, this is like the first Kirby game that had the powers and the abilities. See, he turns orange. He's gonna be orange right now. What's with that? He's just changing colors all over the place. First he's gray, then he's orange. See, see now he's pink. Because uh, in Kirby's Dreamland, oh. Kirby used to be just all white because they couldn't figure out what color he was gonna be. Then I guess they stuck with pink for the NES one. And I guess when he has abilities, he turns orange. But I guess he doesn't turn orange anymore. He's just always pink no matter what. And he wears sometimes funny hats now. Exactly. I was like, that's probably the best detector of what power you have is just whatever hat you're wearing now. Yeah. And whatever the screen says, too. Well, uh, well, yeah, I mean, indicators. Advancement in Kirby technology. <laughs> Advancement. <laughs> Like a bunch of scientists around a whiteboard. It's like, what power can we make out of this? Well, I always think that Kirby games are uh, very well designed, so maybe they are scientifically constructed. <laughs> Just engineering. It's like, what, what can we put together? Like, they, they use the dartboard method. It's like, okay, as a broom and electricity. Oh, look at that. It's a shock broom. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> yeah, it, 64 is the one that you combine powers, right? Yep. Okay. I, well, then I can't wait to get to that. See what combos you can make. Nope. First, doing Kirby's Adventure. We gotta we gotta go through the basics first before we get to the newfangled stuff. Exactly. So, all right. That's level three out of the way. But uh, ooh, another room opened over ooh. here. This is the museum. This is where they have free enemies that you can pick up and eat. Oh no way! So we got the sword. Oh, cool! And you can take that into the next level. Yep. Or whatever level you want. Oh, cool. So now, God, I would have loved this if I, when I was a kid. So now we got uh, Mr. Frosty here. He's the ice boss. Not very tough. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> nope, not anymore. <laughs> this, These first couple of worlds here are pretty straightforward, but things will get a little bit crazier when we hit, like, level, level three, four, and beyond. Oh, and uh, how many worlds are there? There are seven. Oh, wow. It's a good chunk of a game for the NES. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not bad. And uh, oh. there's there's only five uh, levels in this world, but uh, after, I think, the second one, or maybe after this one, they go to six. I think there might be Whoa. I think there might be seven on the last one. I don't remember. Like, general level of progression, am I right? So anyway, hi Hyper Candy, let's go! <laughs> There's a one-up, but I don't think we need it. Nah, eh, forget it. It's in between two guns. I don't want to get Kirby to get shot. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> Please don't hurt me while I'm high on sugar. But... All right, that's stage four, and uh, oh, I guess I'm, I'm mistaken. There's only four stages in this level. And uh, what you can also do is you can exit stages that you've already been to. Accidentally. So, the only place to go here is this boss room. And who's the boss? Ooh. This look familiar to you? Oh my gosh, it's like they recycle enemies. It's Wispy Woods! Is he still a threat? No. 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 Nope. No. Not yet. No. Oh well. <laughs> Try again next game, I guess. <laughs> is he like the Kirby equivalent of Glass Joe? <laughs> Pr pretty much. <laughs> but he's he's still not a credible threat yet. He, he's gonna try though. It's gonna be an interesting journey for Wispy Woods. Now, oh, okay. Next uh, level or next world is Ice Cream Island, but uh, we're not gonna be dealing with that this episode. I want to give you just one more thing before we go. Ordinarily for these mm -hmm. episodes, after we get that star thing, we're just gonna cut right there. But I want to show you one little hidden thing real quick. It's here in level two. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll just go on through here. This first screen is where we need to be. Oops. So I'll take this cutter ability. And that corner go up. And see this warp star here? We're gonna we're gonna see if we can't try and make it disappear. What? We're gonna try and make that disappear. Over by oh. maybe try and overloading the sprites or whatever. I just know that if you just hang around here for a bit and just kinda dick around, this star should go away. Might take a little Sprite bit. limitations. Yeah, it might take a little bit, but uh but we'll get there. We'll get there. 
This is this is oh, a, this there's is a thing Gordo we, again. It's Gordo, so that's good. Uh, he can throw that. Maybe if I uh, throw a cutter myself, that could help overload things. Hmm. We got that. We got three there. More of that. Oh, oh God. That could have gone better. Hmm. Well. Luckily, enemies respawn as we've determined, so I'm we'll just sure you can get it. Get out of here, and then okay, he's back there. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, oh well. I'll just eat you again then. <laughs> so you have done this before, I'm assuming. Huh? Oh, well, let's see. Ah, aha! There we go. So we'll just keep on going now. <gasps> what? We'll keep on going. And there's the Howl Room. <gasps> Oh, cool! It's a secret little room! Because they like to do these <laughs> like, secret little hidden things because Kirby's gonna like float it with secrets and shit like that, so... Yeah, that's neat, right? That is cool. It's kinda cool. It's got even the little broom hatter on the L there. Keep that in mind for later Kirby games. <laughs> cool! But there's no real way out of here, so I guess we'll just uh, reset things from here because uh, we just oh. gotta exit the level. So, uh, see you next time on Let's Play Kirby's Adventure!